What's good everyone, Vice here back with another video and today guys I'm going to be talking about Starfield and Redfall getting delayed this year. So yeah, this is pretty big, pretty big news. A lot of people expected Starfield to be the big Xbox game coming out this year, but it has been pushed back to 2023 and so has redfall which is kind of surprising since redfall was supposed to come out during the summer now starfield makes sense because it was coming out in november so it got pushed back even you know a month and a half it would have been into next year so it makes sense that that got delayed i'm not too shocked about that but redfall getting delayed did kind of surprise me a bit yeah overall this is pretty bad news xbox hasn't had a first party game in quite some time like since halo i believe so we're still waiting for a new game from Xbox, PlayStation has delivered, Nintendo has delivered. Now, PlayStation, we don't know if God of War is coming out and this leads me to, you know, talk about God of War a bit because yeah, uh if Xbox is delaying their two biggest titles of the year because let's be honest, what else was there outside of Starfield and Redfall? Like maybe Forza is coming out this year, so that's one game. But other than that, what is what else was there for Xbox? So the fact that PlayStation has already dropped some games and they still have some, you know, second and third party games coming this year makes you wonder, okay, do they delay God of War now? Because now, okay, Starfield got delayed, so it won't look bad if we delay God of War now. So that that might be their reasoning, but expect something because they could just announce a release date. They could announce a state of play because PlayStation loves to deliver news and, and a lot of companies like doing this, Xbox as well. Like when you have good or bad news from your competitor, you want to have some sort of response to it. And they're either gonna say, hey, we're delaying God of War Ragnarok because then it won't look as bad because Starfield and Redfall got delayed. That's two games getting pushed back into next year. If they announce a delay, it won't look as bad. And if they say, here's a release date, well then Sony looks really good. So expect an announcement soon i don't know if it's going to be good or bad i did talk about god of war ragnarok potentially getting delayed into next year in one of my previous videos and yeah like it is a possibility but i guess we'll see playstation does have games coming out well exclusive games not first party games but just exclusive games coming out towards the end of the year with like forspoken and maybe final fantasy 16 so we'll have to see and you know it this this is very interesting because man like for them to delay both games into next year when we know xbox doesn't really have much else goes to show that these games definitely weren't ready. Honestly, like I hope, you know, everything's going well over there. Xbox hasn't really had a lot of good news outside of the announcement of their new event. And I'm sure we're gonna see those games at the event. And this event is gonna have to be really good because Xbox has been on a spree of like bad news this year. So this event is going to have to go crazy and I expect it to be one of the best events we've seen from Xbox in the last like four years because they have so many studios and they're going to want to impress gamers because they're definitely not impressing us when it comes to first party support right now. So that's pretty much it for me in this video guys. I just want to talk about this really big news, really shocking, but we all know delays are better than broken games. I don't really care too much. I'm not too hurt by this information you know it does suck because starfield and redfall were going to be pretty big games not just from xbox but from you know just games period you know just ignoring the fact that they're xbox games like these are games that people were just excited for so yeah like i, I really hope uh, they end up all right and yeah i can't wait to see them at the event because i know they're gonna be there there's no way that they delay these games and they don't show them at the event so the event's gonna be fire like this pretty much seals the deal. Xbox is going to have a killer event, so I can't wait for that. And that's coming next month. So literally a month before, now they announced the delay. So yeah, this event 
has no choice but to be fire. I hope it's fire. Uh, that's pretty much it for me in this video, guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you on the future. Vice out. Peace.